How'd it go? Well, it's all connected. Beardsley hit Madison, Madison hit North, and it seems our man North, he knew about the abuse all along, but he refused to help. All he wanted was a divorce. And all Madison could see was life with Daddy all over again. She kills her husband. Oh, my God. I'm just as bad as her husband. I gave her up to her father. Baby, you didn't know. None of us knew. So what happens now? We put out a warrant for James Beardsley's arrest. Adam's a master at deception. One of the best. You know, if they ever made a story about his life, they should call it deception, a love story. How did I ever love that man? I love Danny. And now she's free, and Adam's free, and there's nothing we can do. There's nothing, no recourse, no appeal, nothing. Mm. No, that's clear. Please tell me their freedom is not going to cost me my daughter. Oh, Ryan, I wish I could tell you that, but you got a battle ahead of you. So be careful. My wife is a dangerous woman. Oh, those lights look amazing. Oh, uh, yeah. Here. Uh, Scott. Yes. Uh, oh. Scott? No, none for me. Thank you. Oh, really? Well, but we, we're celebrating. I think I'll turn in for the night. Hmm. Good night. Good night. Good night. He's See? just cranky. He doesn't approve of our methods. But our methods work so well. Hmm, to my stunning, stunning wife. The woman who beat the DA at his own game. Mrs. Adam Chandler, the most powerful woman in town. <laughs> Mrs. Adam Chandler. I can't tell you how happy it makes me that you gave me a second chance. Oh. You know what I think? I'd love to hear. <laughs> I think we should get married again. <laughs> I'm not doing this. Zach, who knows Kendall better than you do? Who loves her more than you do? Apparently Aiden is in the running. Oh, stop it. Look, we both know this is horrible. We've both been hurt by Kendall's choice, but certainly you must have had at least one moment of doubt that this is really what Kendall wants. And what? Find some hope? I'm not going to set myself up for that. So you have done some thinking about this. Then please, Zach, think some more. I tell you, when I saw Aiden and, and, and Kendall in, in L.A., I wanted to see Kendall. Aiden didn't want me to. When I finally did, Kendall was very tense. She was not herself. And now you say she called and she wouldn't or, or, or couldn't speak? I mean, you saw Kendall with Aiden. Twice. Once in the church. And the other time? In the boarding house. Saw too much. Zach, look, I know that it hurts. But please, please keep on thinking. What about before they left for, for L.A.? Did, did Kendall say anything to you? And I promise I will never turn my back on you or our family ever again. Never. No lies. Just, just love. I, I will only love you and only you. And I promise I will try. I will try to break up these demons that won't let me sleep at night. And I will try to put out the fires that give them life. We made promises to each other. I promised I wouldn't doubt her anymore, and she promised she wouldn't turn her back on her family. Oh, my God. Do you really think that Kendall would break that vow? Are you breaking yours?
someone to help me. Hello. Help me. Hello, Aiden. It's Zach. What do you want? My wife. You hurt her and I'll kill you.